So this is how I flat towed my Honda Insight. It is the only civilized way to tow. It goes round quarters so nice. I mistakenly thought the bolt nuts, or rather the bolts, weren't strong enough, so I took off the end caps and used a 2 inch by 3 16 flat bar, round 4 inches long. And the welding tabs that uh, rod iron workers use, they're eighth inch. I cut them a little bit shorter than shown in the picture, but I took the nut and put it through the clip nut on the hexagonal frame rail uh, that's protruding. Well, it's protruding from the frame rail. And then here I'll, you'll see me putting them on. Put the clip nut in and use three clip nuts. Turns out these bolts each have a proof load of somewhere around 4,000 pounds, so they're more than adequate to do this tow just with two, so I could have left the caps on, but I didn't know that. So I ended up using three bolts on each side to hold the, the bar that I was making up, and I'm making up the bar by putting tabs on and holding them in place and taking a, a flat bar, holding it with magnets, tack welding it, cooling it with water, and then I did this on both sides and put the flat bar. It, it ends up being a little bit at an angle, so when I put the bar that crosses across this, I needed to fill the space and I cut a, a, a an angled piece, which you will see in a minute. But this, I tack weld it once it was set relatively nice and then I unbolted it and welted it all together. And this is this is the finished product for my toe. The spacing, of these is sort of at a maximum for the tow bar that uh, I bought from Harbor Freight. You need to remove the uh, windshield wiper tank to be able to get to one of the bolts to tighten uh, and loosen doing it this way. And as I say, I could have just put a piece of flat bar across the uh, bolts that pre-existed with those caps that I showed in the beginning. This is what it looks like once it's all together. And here I'm just fitting the chain. I'm taking it off just to, to see if I want to remove a link or not. I made sure not to put this chain on top of any of stuff. Oh, you can see the, the frame in the wheel well here. And you can just drop the chain over that and fish it through. So this is uh, what the flat bar setup looks like. It's got a bar going between both of them because I didn't want it to get pinched uh, with those hexagonal things, and this keeps everything nice and solid. And uh, it worked really good. Uh, you have to leave the wheels, the, the key in the ignition, the transmission in neutral, and um, it on accessory, you don't leave it in the uh, mode where it's the ignition is sort of more in the on position. You don't do that. It's just in the accessory uh, space. Uh, this shows the cross hatching of the of the chains. You want to do that because in case it does come unhitched, at least it will be caught in the chains. This um, shows how to get a trunk open when the jam, when the latch is jammed. You have to open the seat, and slide it forward, and then in the corner there, you pry back the carpet and push the rod that's behind the foam all the way towards the other side of the car or towards the center of the car. And then you have to push it. While you're pushing that over, you have to lift up the hatch and it will open up. That's how you get a, a stuck or broken latch open. So 
open. Then I'm showing how I put the lights for the uh, the trailer next. And here's how I put the lights. I bent a piece of 5 8 inch flat bar and I put a little cut into it so it can grip on the carpet, not slide off. And it holds really nicely. And then the magnetic light can f stand on this 5 8 half bar. And it's plenty for the magnets. It made it all the way from Northern California to Southern California uh, through the mountains. And then I put cardboard on this, but I'm just trying it out to see if I like the shape of that. The, the flat bar is bent with two pair of pliers to follow the shape of that. And this is how my car looked once I was towing. This is halfway through my trip. Again, do not uh, you bind the steering wheel. You want it loose and you want to have the accessory of the it to accessory on the key and, and, and in neutral. That is my flat toe. I hope you liked. Bye-bye.